Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're going to check out one of the new expansions for Disney Villainous called... Perfectly Wretched. Perfectly Wretched. And uh, this is a standalone game. Yep. And uh, you could mix and match with the other Disney Villainous But not Marvel Villainous. Not Marvel. That is different. And there are different mechanics. And there is another expansion that is... Is it coming out or out? It's. I think it's out. Is it? it with the, with the Gaston. Gaston. And I love Gaston. And now I've got to make all those Gaston jokes no, again. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, I screwed up a Disney song. I'll never hear the end of it. That's what happened. <laughs> no one screws up songs like Gaston. <laughs> like Steph Hodge. <laughs> like Steph Hodge. Oh, my God. So, um... But we're... we're we, we're and what looking. is that called? Uh... Someone had mentioned it. It is uh, Despicable Plots. So, yeah, 2021. Uh, it's either coming out or out already. Yeah, it's like I've seen people play in it. So maybe that was earlier copies. But it's going to be out real soon if it's not already out. Usually found at Target. So if you're looking for new expansions to spice up your villainous collection, check out Target. Yeah, yeah it's got like a yellow box, but it's got like a blue slip cover on yeah, it. Yeah, so you... it confused me. Yeah. <laughs> And, but I don't know if the blue cover is there at Target or not at Target, but anyway. Right. So, yeah, this uh, expansion, all the villainous expansions, like you said, are standalone. Um, or you can mix and match. We're just going to play two of the three bad guys in this version of Disney Villainous. Yeah. And so, a lot of the other expansions have a lot of really colorful characters. Guess what? Mine is not a colorful character. Oh, yeah. This is which, very not colorful. Look at that! It's perfect. You it's just you just like click a button and boom! It just like lit up. It was like awesome. Yep. So this is a totally black figure for this black and white Pete. Um, as you know, Pete was the <laughs> villain, was the main antagonist in the old Mickey Mouse Donald Duck movie cartoons. So yeah, I'm going to be Pete. Steph loves the color red, so she's got this fantastic red board here in front of her, and she is going to collect puppies. Coella de Vil. Because. Coella de Vil. Is that how it goes? If she doesn't scare you, no evil one will. So, yeah, and like, there's like this, like the fur is like bunched up around her shoulders and everything, but she is like perfectly black and white, just like her hair. And yeah, so you're collecting, you're, you're trying to collect 99 of the 101 Dalmatians. 99 puppies. Well, 99, because those, Congo and Purdy are 100 and 101. Mm, but everyone knows that, that you have to do the puppies because that makes the softest fur. Right. Yeah. But puppies but, have soft fur. But Pongo and Purdy aren't puppies. They're real dogs. They're, they're, they're dogs. Yeah. Is that mom and dad puppy? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Right. And last but not least, who... Uh, shall remain unplayed is Mother Gothel. And she's got If this. you've seen the, the movie Tangled, she's the, she's the mother in Tangled. And so, I love Tangled. So, like, what? why is there, like, a flower on the top? Is, is she like flowers? Or something? I would have to see it again. It's been a know. long it's time. A, I don't know. I've only seen bits and pieces. I don't know the symbol. I've only seen bits and pieces of Tangled. So we don't need this villain guide. And we don't need Or her, her cards. cards. But check out these card backs. They all, they all, all have these little line drawings. It's really cool. Each each of them. And they're reminiscent and indicative of what you know that style is in that movie or cartoon. Okay. So all the little things. It's really, I, like the, I like the art that they have. Yeah, it's really nice. Despicable Plots is out now and the blue sleeve is a Target exclusive. Well, that, well then there, well, you, there go. you go. Thank you very much, Trey. Answering all the questions for me. So, uh, every hero obviously has a villain guide and we have played Villainous before but we have not played this one. So, this is going to be new for us and for you guys. That's true. Unless you've played it before. And but there's, there's no like you. real major new mechanics, just different objectives that we're handling. Right. There. And then those mechanics, the things that you have to do, sort of make new mechanics happen. Right. Like, you know, fate tokens ha affect me a certain way and this, Collecting that, and Collecting puppy other. tokens. Yeah, like, things you're like the that. only one to ever collect puppy tokens. Yeah. So, this um, is, that's... This is very true. So, for those of you who have not played Villainous, let's see if we can refresh ourselves with the rules and let you guys more or less know how to play. So, each player is going to choose a villain, 
and take the corresponding vo board and villain mover. And each each uh, of the bad guys has their own villain deck and fate deck. So I got my fate deck right here. Um, shuffle the villain deck, which I need to do that. Um, and we draw a starting hand of four cards. Um, the black tokens are called power tokens. You've got to collect enough power tokens to be able to play uh, certain cards. Um, we are going to read our objectives out loud to each other. Mine, it, mine says complete the four selected goals. So I've got goals that I don't even know what they are. Mm. So that will be interesting. Um, okay. Alexa, pick a number. Three, that's me. So you get a power token, Steph. Hey. The first player gets nothing. The second player gets a power token. The third player gets two power tokens. It doesn't say what the fourth player gets. Oh, you the reason why it doesn't say what the fourth player gets? Because that is the fourth person. No, because there's only three people in here. Oh, uh, that's, that's why true. it doesn't say. <laughs> um, the flower had the power to keep Mother Gothic young. Gothel, so yeah, the the. Oh, Beyond Dead messed that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And somehow... The power got transferred to Rapunzel. Oh. How about that? Cool. So, like, did she grow her hair out over... Like, she remained young, but she lived for such a long time that her hair grew? I'm, a, I'm guessing that's what happened. Yeah. That's the story, I guess. That's why her hair is so long. Something. All right, so this is my realm, and that is your realm. All right? Um... Anything that is played to my board is considered to be in my realm. Anything that's in our hand or our decks or our discard piles are not in our realm. realm. Mm -hmm. If we have card abilities, it only affects cards in the same realm. Um, nothing that I have in my realm will ever affect a card in another villain's realm. So, uh, each realm typically has four locations that you can move to and certain actions that you can do. Um, there's a catch though. If Steph plays one of her cards on top of the airport, for example, hey, look, you notice that these two things are gone? If I move my little character mover here on my turn, I cannot do actions that are hidden by cards. I have to make sure that that card gets knocked out before I can do these other actions. So on your turn, you're going to move your villain and you may not stay at your previous location. This is key. This is where all the timing comes in on this game. You move your villain, and you must move your villain because then you're going to do all the actions that you see on that space. And you can do them in any order you want, but you can only do those four. If, uh, and you, uh, if you want to be able to do an action twice, that action has to show up twice on your uh, space. For example, these both have this little... Uh, what is this? Uh, act, uh, play a card. Yep. And so, if I want to play two cards, I better go to Podunk Landing. Yep. And have enough to pay for it, obviously. Yeah, it's really expensive. That's, well, I do get three there. That's true. So that's good. You do them in any order you want. So. Exactly. And at the end of your turn, if you have fewer than four cards in hand, you're going to draw up to four, and then it's the next player's turn. Um. So, what are the different actions? Well, obviously, there's gain power. Like what you see on that, on that three right there. That's how you gain power. You're going to take that many power tokens. Play a card. That's this over here in the corner. <clears throat> you can play only one card for each symbol, and you have to pay its cost. For example, if I want to play this card here, it's going to cost me three power because of the three up in the corner. Mm. Um, if you want to activate an ability on a card that uh what does this say uh there's there's some that that say that they uh they have a, an activate symbol on it and that has an activation cost and that is this one right this icon right here is to activate no sorry that's move an item or ally where is it oh i don't have one you know why I don't have any cards with activate abilities. That's true. Where's yours? You've got one. Shoo. Ta-da! There it is right there. I was like, I'm not seeing it over here. 
Yeah, it makes everybody a little bit different. Not everybody it does. has everything. Um, yeah, and I, that, that makes the play experience totally different each time. And I like that about Villainous is yeah. that it's, you're, you d- I don't have the same win condition as you. Right. But it is somewhat balanced. Right. There are some characters that are better against certain other villains, but I don't think that one always overpowers another villain. I think it's there are gives and takes with all of them. Like that, I think uh, I think something you had sort of spammed. You you played Ultron, I think, yeah. and you were like spamming with different. Uh, no, you were playing. You were playing something else that you were spamming things with. You were trying to build something or other. And I was trying to get all the power crystals. All yeah, of the... All you, of were, the you were Thanos. I was Thanos. I, you were Ultron. You were Ultron. Vision? No, yeah. You were Ultron. Yeah, I was. You were trying to build robots yeah. and I was trying to collect... Yeah, yeah. The, the crystals from my from yeah, my glove. that's right. So, yeah. Marvel. Marvel. Marvel There's also zones. different mechanics in that, too. Right, but what I'm saying is, is that... There, there's, there's different things that you're doing. You were actually trying to keep the gems from me, right? And I was trying to find them and and get them from you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and and with you spamming the places with with the robots, it made it difficult. Right. But I ended up doing it. Sure. But maybe that's not possible if like you were playing someone else. Yeah. So, um, moving an item or an ally, so you can move one in your realm to an adjacent location. You cannot move an item that's attached to an ally or a hero. Um, but if you move the ally, all that stuff goes with them to the adjacent location. You had a, you were doing that a lot as the as Marvel villainous of the robots. Like I say, the the it's it's there are different mechanics in Marvel villainous, but it's still pretty much the same game. Um, move a hero. That is, if you see a, I don't have one on mine. But there's a card with a lightning bolt on it. Do you have that? A card with a lightning bolt with a move? You you don't have that. That must only be on uh, Mother Goat. Anyway, uh, move a hero at any location in your realm to an adjacent location. Oh, it says it does not appear on any villain's board, but you may see it if you mix villainous games. Okay. There you go. None of us have it. All right. Um, fate. That's really fun. Choose an opponent to target. And obviously, I'm going to be targeting Steph. She's going to be no. targeting me. Reveal two cards from the top of that opponent's fate deck. Choose one to play. Discard the other one to the discard pile. And you get to decide how to use that ability against your opponent. So, that's pretty awesome. A hero may be played to any location in that opponent's realm. So, I'm going to put... That's how I cover up those locations on her board. Yeah, with the, the hero's... Deck. Yeah, so the heroes in her deck will always correspond to good guys in the 101 Dalmatians movie. The heroes in mine, I am assuming, are going to be Mickey, Donald, Goofy, you know, the old black yeah. and white Disney characters. I am going to guess. Um, there is Vanquish. That is looks like this right here. Uh, defeat one hero at any location in your realm by using one or more allies that are already at the same location as the hero. Remember, the heroes are placed up here. The allies are placed down here. To vanquish the hero, you have to discard the ally to your uh, villain discard pile, and you discard the hero to your fate discard pile. Uh, but So your ally has to have a strength equal to or higher than the hero. So you can beat up that hero, those pesky heroes. And last but not least, we have discard cards right here. Discard as many cards as you want from your hand. And uh, obviously do not immediately draw up because that only happens at the end of your turn. So um, there are several different types of cards in our decks. Um, Allies obviously have the word ally at the bottom. Uh, there are effect cards that will have this green on it. Um, those appear in the villain deck and the fate deck, and they're just one-time events. Uh, you do what the card says, you discard it. That makes it pretty easy. The allies will stay there, uh, and those are used to de- mostly to defeat heroes at the same location. Some of them all will also have the, the little activate ability, which I don't think come in any of mine, but they might happen in yours or 
uh, somebody else's. I definitely have activate cards. So. Yeah. So that'll be something that you do, not something that I do. Uh, the hero cards can only appear in the fate deck, and we've already talked about those. Um, obviously, covering up actions is key with fate cards. So oh, yeah. you can really screw someone up with those. <sighs> lovely, lovely coffee. Got my Dunkin' Dark going on. Uh, last but not least, we have item cards. I was wondering if I even had any of those. There's an item. Uh, they will appear in the villain deck and the fate deck. Um, pay for the uh, item and place it below any location in your realm unless the item says to attach it to an ally or a hero. If you don't have an ally or a hero, tough, can't play it. Um, uh, last but not least, there are conditions. I don't know if I... Yeah, there's one. Those are pretty awesome because they, those can only be played during an opponent's turn. Um, if you have a condition in your hand and the requirement is met, met boom, drop it on them. Uh, and obviously, you do not draw a card to replace it because that only happens when? End of your turn. Very good. Yay! Um, activated abilities, we already talked about that. Um, they will have an activate symbol on them. Hey, look, that's one of your cards. They'll have that little activate symbol. An activation cost. A lot of times it's usually in in, um, in power tokens. Uh, and then the ability that you do. Yeah, this is pay one power Aww. for Jasper. Yeah. I don't know Jasper. Jasper, ha Horace and Jasper are the only two that can collect puppies. Yeah. Oh. So, Yeah. Um, you, um, this game plays up to six players if you mix and match it with the uh, expansions. Can you move your cursor there? There you go. Hey. Um, so you've got the fourth, fifth, and sixth player there. If you are looking to get the base sets and expansions and want to know what mon uh, what bad guys are in those, here they are right here. Um, the base game has Ursula, Maleficent, Captain Hook, Jafar, Prince John, and Queen of Hearts, which... I think you had Prince John upside down I on did. your pictures. Oh, because this guy is so big. He is so big, and it's hard to, like, yeah. I didn't know. You didn't know. So, I think I've played Ursula before. Um, I don't remember if I've played any of the other ones. You were, what, Maleficent? Malef Maleficent? Yes? Yeah. You're nodding. I'm, I'm trying to remember what i Trying to hear I your brain rattle. <laughs> well, I've definitely played Scar, because I love Lion Yeah. Game. I well, I'm talking. I'm talking about the base game. We're still in the base game. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't remember. So I, it's, it's got to be Hook. When we played, Hook is like the best figure ever. When we played Wicked to the Core, we played, had the Evil Queen and Doctor uh, uh, Facilier and Hades. I don't remember what I. I think I played Doctor Facilier. Mm -hmm. I don't think I played Hades. You were the Evil Queen, obviously. Um, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and then. Uh, Evil Comes Prepared has Yzma, Scar, and uh, Radigan. I was you're, Radigan you're, and you were Radigan, Scar. Yeah. Um, because I had never seen uh, Emperor's New Groove. Is that what Yzma is in, I think? I think so. Yeah. You should probably see it because I remember being I should good. probably see it. That was during the time that my kids were out of Disney movies, I think. Mm. Or it was before they were born. One remember. or the other. When did they come out? I don't remember. It was a little after my time, but I remember seeing it and Alexa, liking it. Alexa, when was The Emperor's New Groove uh, published? Twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago, right before my kids were born, which is why I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. The well. new one has Lady Tremaine, Cinderella, The Horned King, The Black Cauldron, and Gaston... Which everybody knows, which you are definitely going to have to be guest on. Yeah, I definitely need that because, <laughs> yeah, Lady Tremaine and guest on. That's really um, good. But I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen the Black Cauldron. I don't, yeah, think. I don't, I don't know if I have either. I, I mean, I'm sure I've seen Cinderella at some point in my life. I mean, I know the fairy tale. I don't, I don't specifically know if I've seen, if I've sat through the Disney movie. But you know what? They play the snippets and everything, yeah. and you see the Cinderella dress, and so it's one like one of those things. Have I really seen that movie? <laughs> like I've seen bits and pieces of Tangled. I know I have. Yeah, well, yeah, because learning songs from it. Oh, have I learned songs from it? Yeah. I have. Okay, I'll take your word for it. What do you? 
Where are you? Oh, you're getting your caffeinate? All right, so I'm shuffling up my cards. Oh, hey, what's in our villain guides? Let's find this out now that we all know how to play. All those days searching through the window. Oh, yeah, I know that song. I know you know that song. <laughs> Tangled. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. To achieve Pete's objectives. I heard pizza. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> to complete <laughs> Pete's objectives. <laughs> If you want to work on a prediction, we can do that for this game. I forgot last game. I always forget. Pete versus Cruella de Vil. Pete is a scary no evil thing will. So, to achieve his objective, you must complete each of the four goals in your realm. You may complete them in any order. When you complete a goal, reveal the gold token and remove it from your board. Turn the five gold tokens face down and mix them and place one at each location. Well, I've already revealed that one, so... All right, the one I don't have is gain at least four power from playing play a game at this location. Mm. That seems like fun. do I I do have I do have four places where I can play a card, but three of them have to be uh, I can or get covered up. So that might not be great for me if you like if I like have that on those locations specifically. So yeah. Um, yeah, they just go there in the middle. I did it right. Prediction has started for anybody who wants to bid on either Cruella or Pete. Well, maybe we should have like found out what the objectives are first. But that's M mine, is to, mine is to gather 99 puppies. 99 puppies on the wall. 99 puppies here. Ba -da -ba -dee, ba -ba -da -boo. So, um, my goal, power play, is here. I have to spend at least six power in one turn. While I'm at that location. Dang. Being able to play more than one card at the same location will make this goal easier. If this goal is at a location with multiple player card actions, you have more options to play card. But if there's only one available, you can use Bandit's ability to play at least three Bandits with one action. So that's good. I need to find that then. Because I am not limited by... I don't, I'm not limited by an ally being stomped on top of here. Okay. But I only have one. One, one, and two. Right. Goal, rule the realm. Start your turn with more allies than heroes at each location. This goal is completed by playing multiple allies. Cricket can help secure this goal by moving to any location when a hero is played to it. More allies than heroes at each location. The goal, win big. Um, that's the one that I just threw out. Strike it rich is here. Start your turn with at least three items in this location. Which that's good that I can play two cards and I get three power. Yeah. So um, you may complete this goal at the start of your next turn after moving at least three items to that location. So I have to start my turn with three items there. Um, extra actions. Each of Pete's items adds an extra action symbol to your realm. After the item's been played there, you can perform the extra action in addition to the other actions there. Um, oh, my last goal is Roundup. Start your turn with allies, totaling at least 10 strength to this location. So that seems good. All right, that's all of my things. Let me see yours. Do you have anything special in your villain's guide? No. I know you're messing around with stuff there. Turn your 12 puppy tokens face down and keep them in a pile next to you, which you've done. Put your Cruella on your starting space. Um, you have to add puppy tokens to locations in your realm and then capture them. So each puppy token is 11 or 22 puppies. In order to capture them, that first you add them to your realm, um, reveal it, place it face up at the location specified. Um, each time you add one, you may choose one from the supply that is face up or face down. Once a puppy token has been revealed, it can never be turned face down again. Yeah. Even if it's returned to the supply. Did you catch that? That's yeah. important. No, I, I read it all already. Oh, you read it all. Well, then why don't you share it with us? Well, because you were talking. Looks like we're having stream issues, so I don't know what's we're going on. We're having stream issues. I'm not... Frames we're dropping seems better now. No, we're... Got problems. What? 
What's it saying? I can't see it. I don't know. Something's going Skip. on. I can't now. I can't read it. Skip frames detected 26% over the last two minutes. So where's the, uh, oh, it's the red in the corner. Yeah. Now it's green. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's just, it's it's bouncing. And uh, you know why? why? I know exactly why. Because you're messing around on BGG. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the, the uh, pages. Close tabs. Just trying to kill things. Just... Well, your CPU spiked. That's why I thought you were messing around with your browser. I was trying to close that, things. And what so... makes it worse? No. No, uh, it did. So we don't know why her CPU is spiking, but it's now green. So, hey, it seems good now. How many do I get? It would have been nice if I was paying attention oh, when I was reading the rules. My video stopped, but reloading fixed it. So if you, I guess if your video stopped, mine also stopped. So hopefully but. that does not cut your stream in half. Well. That would suck. I've had that happen. Yeah. On my I mean, two-hour issue. Oh, you're at the 203 mark. I don't know if that um, has anything to do with it. But. If it does have something to do with it, I have... <laughs> I've, I've had to research this issue quite a bit, so, <laughs> and it's right at 203, so that's what happened to me. Anyway. I've never had this problem, so if it continues at the two, two hour mark, then. Then I can fix it because I've done some things on mine. I don't know whether it'll, whether it's the same thing on yours or just coincidence. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm still trying to figure out how many cards to take, so four. Throw that in the box. There's a fate token to the side. I think we're ready. Uh, you, right? No, you're first because I have a coin. Oh, that's right. All right, let me look and see what I got here. So all of my cards are obviously black and white. Mine are very colorful. Well, yeah, because, you know, you're from a color show. <clears throat> oh. Well, that might be nice. I don't know. So a condition is if you do something. Uh, yeah. I well, it. I don't know because you have to look at yours. So yeah. Hmm. 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 I will go here and gain two power. Um, I can defeat, I can move. Those aren't going to help me much. Now I'm going to play a card. I'm going to ditch two of my tokens. I'm going to effect here. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Gain power equal to the sum of their cost, then discard them. How about I do that? So I draw two. What are the costs? Well, I spent two and got four. Could be worse. Unfortunately, I just killed an item. That sort of sucks, but I'll take my four power and run. Wow, that's really good. And then I draw back up. Prediction is broken. Uh, let me uh, look here. Uh, that's okay. The prediction says it's closed, but there's nothing in it. Um, Shrey, why don't you uh, kill the prediction? And since nobody did anything on it yeah we can restart the predictions yeah if people want to do that so it's me yes this is awful this is really bad i guess i'll just go here okay you get three power tokens at some point yeah i'll take them now because i think that's all i'm doing really you know what? Sometimes that's what you got to do. I can just discard any number of cards from my hand at the end of my turn, right? Oh, you won, Steph. It's fantastic. Yes. So uh, wait a second. What? Uh, during their turn, if another player gains three or more power, I may play Mischief. I have now played Mischief. Ta-da! Um, 
So, draw two cards from the bottom of your deck, then put one card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. Draw two cards from the bottom of your deck, and then put one card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. Wow. <laughs> six, six, six. <laughs> what? Somebody put in six, six, six. Where? They bet six. Oh, they bet six, six, six. I'm like, what? What are you talking <laughs> That's about? Funny. Um, well, these are all good. Oh, must be nice for you. I am going to put this. So, yeah, new prediction has started. If anybody wants to, you know, throw well, in some top. channel points for who will win, that would be cool. Thanks, Shrey. Just... You know what? We appreciate you. I just want to tell you that. And you too, Derek, for posting links and stuff. That's really good. All right. Um, All right, so me, right? Well, so I have to finish my turn, yeah. right? Well, yeah. I could discard any number of cards, right? Mm, does this card on there? What do you mean, if, discard? Mm, the answer is no. There is... there. So... No, I mean at the end of my turn. No... I have to keep all these cards. There's a there's there's an actual discard. Look, this see this thing right here. Right, but Do, I thought at the end of your turn you could always discard. This does it in the middle of your turn. And, and then do what? This doesn't let you draw back up. This is discard. What's the difference between discarding here and discarding at the end of your turn? I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not following your thing because that's not a. That's that's not a. That. It's not a mechanic in the game. Okay, so I just have to hold this, on to this, these cards. If. I'm gonna say it again. All right, then I need. If, to, then I need to you, take back my turn then because I, I well, need to discard my whole hand. That, that's a problem because I now have new cards that I didn't have before. Well then, I don't. Fine, I'll do nothing. You. I mean, if the my my point is. There's a mechanic for that. If you want to discard your hand, there's a mechanic that allows okay, you to do that. You, fine. There is there is no mechanic that lets you just discard when you want. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to have this. It's fine. I, 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 I know that. I know that makes you unhappy, but I've. Well, I've, I said I was going to discard these three cards, and you're like, "Oh wait, I'm going to do this because of this." So it's you're like gonna discard you discard those hear three cards. Everything I said, it's fine. You play. No, you, I'm done. I'm done. You literally said, I'm going to draw, I'm going to get three, I'm going to go here because I don't have any power, to, I, I need to get power tokens. And I said, okay, I'm going to do my condition. And now I've like, okay, I've go. literally put things I in and out I'm of my hand. My turn. I understand that. I'm just explaining. Yeah. I, it had nothing to do with you discarding. Because that triggers as soon as you draw three tokens. I can't fix that. I can, I can reshuffle my whole entire hand. I, I, that, what I'm saying is I, I would retcon that, but I'm past the point of being able to retcon that. So. I'm going to go to the airport and take one token. Do you have to play an item at your location where you are? Yeah. Or can you play it to any location? I think oh, you can play it to any location. Yeah, I think you can play it to any, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so I want to change that a little bit. One, two, three, four. Put that back. I will go somewhere else. I will take three. I have two of those and I have a discard if I want to take that. Uh, stolen cargo can only be played to the airport. This location now gains one, one power. I have one more play a card action.
One, two, three, four. Does the ally need to be at the same location? Place the card below any location to your realm. So I will pay two. Uh, and I've got uh, bandit. I may play any number of bandits as part of the same play a card action. Oh, wait. I don't have to have this. I don't have to have this up. Oh, well, then I don't need to do it. I thought you had to play it and then it let future bandits be put on there. But that's not how this works. I can just play as many bandits as I want. Mm. So instead of doing that, I uh, guess I'll just I'll do my discard, which is that. Um, no, not yet. Draw two cards into your hand, then put one card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. That's a zero cost card. I can only play two. That's my second. Maybe I want to discard more of these things. Uh, I'm going to definitely keep that. Top or bottom. Bottom of my deck. Let me put that where I can get to it. And then that was the one that I discarded. So I'm just going to draw it. Mm. Okay. Are you going to move to the discard? I did. Oh, there's a discard there. Good job. I'm going to play a fate. Fate on, you. on me. So draw two from my deck. Whoops. Do I have anything there? So I don't get why that. So when when this card is played, mm -hmm. I may reveal one gold token in your realm. Are those not supposed to be revealed? Oh crap. Maybe not. <laughs> so uh, I didn't. Want to mix I didn't them up, put out new ones if they're not supposed to be known. Um, place one at each location. Once it's been revealed, it can't be turned face down again. You may look at them at any time, but keep them secret from the other players. Oh, I totally missed that. Well. Well, it doesn't matter. You can leave them. If you if you know if you're allowed to. Do you know remember what, where they are? I don't know what any of them are. That's fine. Mm. You may reveal one if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna just go like this. When Clarabelle Cow is played, you may reveal one gold token in Pete's realm. I'm sure. Ta-da! Spend at least six power in one turn while I'm at that location, and then this is discarded. I'm done. Hmm. So this is defeat. So if I've got a card that lets me move an item in my realm to any location, it says this can only be played to the airport. Does that mean I can't move it from the airport? I, I would assume so. I would think you can move it, yeah. Oh, I would I would assume that I'd have to keep it there. But I don't know, maybe maybe not. 
I don't know. Hard if it had say. to stay there, I would say it must stay here. I know other mm. villainous cards are specific to locations, but yeah, I don't know. That one, I don't know. Boom. I'm going to go here. I'm going to get one token. Uh, I can play one card. I'm going to do another play a game. I like play a game. Pay two. Reveal the top two. Gain power equal to the sum. I bought four. Looks like what I did before. Unfortunately, it's another play a game and a bandit, both of which I would like to have. But, hey, they're gone now. Um, and then I'm going to play a fate on you. No. Well, these fate tokens are, nothing is going to happen because I can choose flu the coop, choose one captured puppy token and return it face up to the supply. She has no captured puppy tokens. And we're Labradors. Remove up to two puppy tokens from one location and put them in the supply. Mm. Womp, 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 womp. That was good. <laughs> and by good, you mean horrible. That was good. <laughs> no. All right. So what's Vanquish? What's Vanquish? What is Vanquish? This? Yeah. Um, have... Good guys on your side, or bad guys on your side, and good guys on that side, and kill, and kill the hero mm -hmm. as long as your power, your strength is at least as high. And then remove both. Yeah, unless I can't, like, there's one there's one thing that says I have to have three items in a location. If I don't have other items that can go anywhere else, I could probably look through the deck and find out. But I have cards in certain locations already, so. I'll play my Roadster car. Oh, no. That's a pretty red car. Yeah. What does it say? When Roadster is moved, you may move it to an, any location. You may move up to two puppy. Tokens from the Roadster's previous location to its new location. Oh. Be good if I actually had puppy tokens, but who knows? What are puppy tokens? I don't know. <laughs> and, oh, you played uh, an you played an I'm item. Fate you. You played again. an you played an item though. I did, sure. So I have to do this now. Defeat a hero with the strength of three or less. Boop. Uh, that's mine. Yes. So you're gonna fate me as well. Which sucks for me because I just killed that chick. Clara Bell. Killed her! Turned her into steak. Steak! Alright, I'm gonna do Outlawed. Pete no. loses two power and may I may reveal a gold tile. No. Start your turn with at least three items at this location. Yeah, see, that's the thing. If I can get the items there, but I don't know whether all of my items... I think my I think you might actually be right. I don't know if I have a lot of items is the thing. And I have to move them there. I I think you can. That but think I that's, don't I don't know. I think that's it. So yeah. Uh well I don't need to play I don't need to play that many cards. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna draw. Uh, I'm gonna get my two powers. Oh, I don't need to vanquish. Um, this is move an ally or an item. Yep. I wish I, I could just look at this thing over here. Yep. I'm actually gonna move this item to Podunk Landing. See if we say we can do it. What does that say? Fifteen puppies stolen. What does it say? 
cruel during If the... I move an ally or an item, you may play cruel. Choose a puppy token and add it. Now, so it's not really 15. So you're going to choose no. a puppy token. And, uh, did it say put it face up? Yeah, that's how it goes. It goes face up. Does it? At the milk farm because it tells me where oh, to put it. Oh, because it tells you where to put it. Yeah. So I'm going to play... Uh, wait, did, did, did I just lose these? Did, or did I... You told me to lose two... From here, yeah. You are gaining two from the location that you're at, so maybe... Oh, you're... maybe that's that. And then one is going to... I'm going to play a, a horse. When horse is played, you can move an ally or an item in your realm to any location, which... Um, so I, th I think that's all I got. I draw two. Oh. Oh. How about that? It is you. I'm going to go over here. Mm -hmm. I got one. I need to move those closer to you. You have to stretch for them. I'm going to play this flashlight card. What does that do? I pay one for it. Mm-hmm. What does that do? Uh, upon activation, which will happen very soon, uh, I get a puppy token and add it to the specified location. Mm. Yeah, why can't I have those fate when I needed them? <laughs> oh, 22? Add your location? How do you get those? I need either Jasper or Horace. Oh, they're the only ones that can and grab them. The puppy them, nappers. So. Hmm. Well, you're probably going to get them really quick, I would think. And so that was play a card and activate a card. And I can move the roadster, so I might as well move it to try and gather the puppies all together eventually. And I could discard something. Um... Keep that. So you. So me. Hmm. All right, it's going to give me four power. Pete's got a lot of power now. I could play two cards. One, when Parrot is played, choose a card from your discard pile and put it in your hand. I think I will. As part of my second action, I'm going to play two. I'm going to play another game. Real top two cards. That's five power. I got a jalopy and a bandit. Hmm. Too bad I don't have that jalopy in my hand. And then I draw up. Okay. I need to... Is that everything? Oh, I can discard if I... No, I already drew up. I can't discard anything. I don't want to anyway. You need uh, Jasper. I'm going to go here. To the Radcliffe house. I'm going to play... This is cute. Horus. Horus. For two. Now, the flashlight is not attached to Horus. No. But it is on the same location. I will activate Horus. Either capture oh one my goodness. puppy token at this location. So good. I will do. Put you will do. Right mm-hmm. I'll put them... Can I put it up here? Yeah, you can. All right, put it there. Because you got plenty of room up there. Yeah. And I will do a fate on your face. No! You have, you're have you fating me to death, well, girl. I always lose this game because I don't fate enough. No, you fate too much. All right, we're going to put into play the famous Mickey Mouse. Pete cannot complete goals. 
Holy crap, he's a five? It's Mickey. He's the best. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's yeah, bad. I'm done. I know that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Aww. Like, really bad. He's so cute, baby. Because I'm cute. goodness spotted <laughs> get it get it because you're spotted because oh. <laughs> he's a dalmatian he's spotted i get it all right i get one power token i think i can play a card hey let's play horse when horse is played i may move an ally or item in your realm to any location hey how about this one let's start building up the strength points to kill mickey Kill Mickey. Uh, then I'm going to fate your butt. Yeah. Hey, it's the same exact card. Did you shuffle these? And that's how that works. I did shuffle. You're done. You, you nah, drew I up. had no chance. No choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna move the roadster over here. Yeah. With the puppy. Wait, the puppy. And I can uh was the puppy on the milk farm? With the roadster on the milk farm? Yeah, I moved them I moved him there. I purposely moved the car there so I could take the puppy over here. Mm. I will uh That's good on a move on a move thing. I'm going to put this here. For what? How do With you put his action, oh, choose that. one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Mm. Hell hole. Yeah. Hell hole. I can play. Well, actually, instead of doing that, I'll just I'll just capture oh, these you moved eleven. The... Huh? I'll capture these eleven. You'll capture those eleven. Yeah, instead then, of. Instead of. Putting that in play uh, okay. with that with that. I got you. I do get one though. I got you. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend one to play this card. I got you. Reveal up to two puppy tokens in the supply. Revealing two. Do you think reveal, re, re, reveal? I did. Not place. Reveal. So don't put them into play. Reveal. Well, that's terrible. Uh, they can't see them. I should place them above. Not that it matters a great deal. I mean, it's... They're not playable really yet. Yeah, she's got a big old stack of puppy tokens. I can discard... Mm. Yeah, it doesn't say to put them out there. But still, I mean, you, you know to put the 22s, which is going to give you a big benefit. All right, you... You have five cards? Four. Oh, it looked like five. He just thinks I cheat all the time. Uh, yeah. Because you cheat all the time. Alright, I'm going over here. I'm picking up two power tokens. And spending two power tokens to put out a bandito. And hey, I'm going to conflict with Mickey Mouse. Get out of here, Joker. Goodbye, Mickey. Goodbye, everything else. And uh, that is that. I had to draw one. Woo! Sure. I will move the roadster here. Oh, did I not have? I didn't have a fate. I get three of these. I could play two cards. So I'll play this one. It's effect. It says. Here, puppies, choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. So, do yes, that. absolutely. Actually, I'm going to do this one because that's where Horace is. That's where he is, yeah. That's probably smart. And then I have another card I can play. Well, you do have two to play, so that's good. You have four power left. What's that? Cost me one. It's a telephone. Hey, telephone. Pay a power. 
choose an ally from my discard pile and put it at any location for free. So when you activate, you can activate anything at any location, I think. Is that the case? Yeah, because not, every, uh, not every place has an activation. Right. So, act, yeah. Choose one item in your realm. So you can do that whenever. I'm not sure it really matters where it is. Yeah, but that makes it so you can keep getting Horus back out. Right. I mean, that's important. Right. I mean, that's super it's, important. It's a telephone. You need to call them up. Yeah. Telephone. Thunder. Phone. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to go here. I'm going to get one token. I'm going to... Spend at least six power in one turn. Two, three, four, five, six. Goal complete. Putting out three bandits. Hey, bandit. That seems good, and I'm going to fate your butt. Oh. Oh, this seems good. Hey, you can't capture puppy tokens from here. I don't even know how to defeat him. Uh, he's got a strength of four. Yeah. And I'm drawing up. Uh, I need to... How do I complete the goal? Just put it on my character, dude. I need Pete's sheet. <laughs> I need a Pete sheet. Uh, remove that goal to remove reveal and then remove it. So let me put it right here, I guess. One right. one complete. I'll go here. I'm gonna mm -hmm. play. I'm gonna activate this mm -hmm. activation, which is is what choose a puppy token from the supply mm -hmm. and add it to here. Seems good. And then I'm going to play her for two. Mm -hmm. Capture one puppy token from her location. Oh, thirty-three. Seems good. And I do a fate. No. You and those fates. You can't vanquish Pongo. Not yet. Mm. Maybe soon. Everybody's so quiet. Uh, yeah. Makes me wonder if the stream is okay. <laughs> yeah, the screen. All right, this one sucked, I guess. When Horace is played, you may move. No. Pete loses up to two power. You may reveal one gold token in Pete's realm. Start your turn with more heroes, with more allies than heroes in each location. And I'm done. Mm hmm. Might as well get some more power. One, two, three, four. When Parrot is played, choose a card from your discard pile and put it in your hand.
Jalopy can only be played to the service station. This location gains item. Uh, that was two. I can discard and draw up. Still here, Dr. Sign says. <laughs> Is it me? Yep. I go here. I collect three. Three. I will play Puppy Spotted. Two Puppy Tokens. Two Puppy Tokens. Oh, oh, no. Two 22s. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good for you. It's not good for me. I'm also going to play the Devil Take It. The what? The Bill. The Devil Take It. Um, choose an item or an effect from my discard pile and put it into my hand. So oh. I'll, I'll put the bot and paid for back into my hand. What is that? It lets you capture, capture it on your own? Yeah. So that seems really good. And I draw up. I could move somebody. I probably should move Horace to... There, I guess. Me? Yep. Start your turn with allies totaling 10 or more strength at this location. Cha-ching! That would be done. Mm. Mm. I get one. One. That was one. When horse is played, you can move an ally or item in your realm to any location. Seems good. What else I got? I can move and I can fate. All right, there's a move and here's a fate. Well, I can play Sergeant Tibbs. When Sergeant Tibbs is played, you may move up the two puppy tokens in Corella DeVille's realm to his location. That doesn't help much. Or I can discard an item from her realm. I got to decide whether to take away the telephone or the flashlight. I mean, she's got a lot of... She's got a lot of... 22s anyway. But I should probably make it as difficult as possible for her to uh, fetch those puppies out. Choose an ally from your discarding pile. Oh, man, that's, that's just rough. Ah, I'm going to kill the flashlight. Uh. Killed it. Uh, must draw up. Ugh. Not good. I'm gonna go here, gain one. I'm gonna play a card, which is... I live for furs. I gain one money. <laughs> I live for furs. And... I'm going to play a, a fate on you. Okay. It's 
two cards. One, a two. All right. Um. All right, I'm gonna do an effect. Tired. Pete loses half his power rounded down. Half. Well, it would have been worse before. I wish I did it one more turn earlier or something. Well, that's still three going. Well, a couple turns earlier, because, yeah. I draw. Moving to my good location, getting four. I get three card play abilities. I'm going to put them here so I can see them. For zero, I'm going to draw two cards into my hand, put one card from my hand on the top or bottom of my deck, which is quickly going to run out. Put one card from my hand on the top or bottom, which is effectively the same at the moment. <clears throat> that was one action. Here's a second action. For three, whoops, I'm going to play this item. Right here. And my third action. For my for my third action, I am going to play an ally here. Play an ally here. I have enough to complete my goals at the start of my turn whenever that happens. Uh -huh. So I am going to, uh, that was my third, I think it really was my third. I am then not, am I going to discard this? I will draw up. One, two, and shuffle. I'm drawing up. Can you stop me? I don't know. Was this one? Oh, um, when I played this, I can act, I can actually use this because the location gained something. So I'm going to move this ally to here what is this one it's um start the game with more here allies than heroes at each location this one is start your turn with at least three items at this location mm -hmm. i've got allies 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 ally mm -hmm. all right what are the fake cards one two might need to know if you have a condition or something. Yeah, I do. I haven't even looked at my other cards, so yeah. No, no conditions that I want to play. I'm going to play Mini. When Mini Mouse is played, I may discard an ally or an item from Pete's realm. Mm-hmm. So. Ally or item. Well, item was the one that will cancel your, your goal, so I will do that. Well, that'll this will also cancel the goal. Uh, oh yeah, because you have to. Have, yeah. Yes. Because I have to have three item, three items there. Um, play a card, Jasper. Draws four. And I'm going to vanquish Pongo. To activate, I have no money. Me too. And I'm done.
I get one. I play one. Cricket. Each time a hero is played to your realm, you may move Cricket to that hero's location. Um, I may move a dude. Which I will not do. I will just fake you. Alright, I'm not playing Captain. I am playing Perdita. Choose one captured puppy token and move it to her location. And draw that, because that's all I can do. Fate. Okay, I'm fading you. Oh, fate. What's this? Goofy? Did you discard Goofy? Yep. I'm discarding a bandit from your realm. Ah. And uh, dang it, I'll pay a dollar and play pure puppies. Choose a puppy and put it. I'm done. Move here, get four. I've only got one action I can do. And move. I'll move this bandit over here. Oh. I'll play one of these cards. So, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, I have something that lets me move Pete to any location with a hero. I am at a location with a hero. Can I play the card? I have a feeling I'm going to have to go to the geek for this. I think you have to move. Yeah, there are several different people asking. So, um, I guess I'll play something else. For two, I'm going to reveal two, gain power. Nothing. Wow. There is a downside. Yep, unfortunately. I'll go here. And I can't play a card. I don't have any money. Can activate this guy. Capture these. Milk farm. I will. Yep, vanquish. I mean, I will uh, fate you. There's one if you want to look at it. Sure. Of course. 
When Pluto is played, I may move an item in Pete's realm to Pluto's location. Actually, I should move this one. For reasons. And then I am done. So, yep. Tell me. Um, start your turn with more allies than heroes at each location. Done. Cost two, or I get two. I can move something. How about this? I can vanquish four versus four. That seems good. I still have not played my card. Actually, I'm going to vanquish something. I'm going to vanquish. Yeah, that's what I'll do. For three, I'm going to move to his location and vanquish him, then end my turn. Wow. Um, end my turn, meaning do draw back up or don't draw back up? At the end of your turn, if you have fewer than four. So here, I'm going to move him there. I will activate him to capture this guy. 55. Move, activate, gain one. Dang it. Discard cards. I'm done, so I drop up. Three. Draw two cards to my hand and put one from my hand on the bottom, top or bottom of my deck. Hi, Laura. Hello, Laura. Derek says, Caffeinate. Second action. Draw two cards in my hand. Then put one card from my hand on the top or bottom of the deck. Are you kidding me right now? Nope. All right. That was two actions. I may move. Don't really need to move. I'm going to discard two. I'm going to draw up. And you're done. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm still don't have an item, so that's good. It's keeping me alive. Yep, still don't have an item. Um, huh. In that case, what to do, what to do. I will go here and 
gather money because I need money with that. I may um, draw two cards on the bottom of my, de of my deck and put one card from my hand on the top or bottom of my deck. I keep moving my thing because my cards have no room. Because your phone is in your way. No, my car, I have no room. Regardless of phone. I should probably turn my uh, Twitch on. Drew was the character you are. I never win this game. I literally have never won. So, <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I don't even have a card to play. Which so. means I always win this game. Yep, you. Wow, really? Nothing? I don't have a card to play. Wow. Well, I'm not going to be able to win on this turn either, so. <laughs> nope. Never fear. I'm going to go here. I get one. I get to play a card. I get to do a fate. I get to discard. When Parrot is played, choose a card from what? The emotes just flying on the screen. Oh. For one. Is it one? Yes. Choose a card from my discard pile. Put it in my hand. I wonder what I'm going to take. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. 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 And I am going to discard cards. I am also going to fate you. Fate you. Um... No. When a puppy token from the supply would be added to this location, return it face up to the supply. One, two, three. I'm gonna fate you. Fate me. Play this dude. Where do you go? You may move an ally or item to any location. How about an item? Yeah. <coughs> that seems good. And uh, get to play a card. I don't think I have any more. I can discard cards, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah. What? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Pretty 
sure it's impossible to win as Cruella. I mean, I literally have two, two people that can fight off the heroes. Yeah, but I now I've got to move that like two spaces. Um, you, when you move something, can't you move it anywhere? No, move it to a, this is moved to an adjacent. Uh -huh. This is moved to any. I've been moving them around with this. Mm. General. Uh, I don't, I think allies, I think I might have accidentally moved them far. So we might have to asterisk this game. This game is an asterisk. Move. To an adjacent location. Allies and items. Yeah, I've only moved to adjacent locations, so it hasn't really mattered, but yeah. Well, me moving allies, I... I've mostly been placing them here because you keep killing them from here. <laughs> well, yeah. Um... I mean, I might as well do this. I get two. I can vanquish. Hmm. I can move one. I can play one. Oh, there's another another item. Draw one. Is that all I have to do? Yep, that's all I have. Clap once if you're in danger. Ah, ba da ba da ba ba. Yeah, I have to I have to put the asterisk on, I think. All right, I'm going to go here. I get dollar. A dollar. I get two. Did I give myself two? Moves. Yeah, because I think it cost me a bit. Yeah, it cost me a bit. I get to move the roadster to here. Yeah. Oh, no. It, oh, okay, hold what? on. I don't think I did that right. Okay. What? Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. How to do this. Um, people, hey. people are having fun with... Uh, <laughs> Thanks for following, Connor. Hey, thanks for following. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to play this card. Yeah, I saw an asterisk bouncing around the screen. Yeah, I bet. What is that? What is that? She collects from here. 77 out of your 99. So that was activate. No, that was play a card that I can activate. I will pay one to choose an ally from my discard pile. Jasper and put him into any location for free. Free. He's probably just gonna go die in a minute anyway. I can discard any of these cards. Seems good. Um, no, I might need them, so... All right. Moving here, getting one. Um, moving an item and moving an uh, item. Wow. You get two moving and items, yeah. Well, one here and one here. Yeah. I can play a card into a fate. Don't do a fate! 
No, what's happening? No. Oh, what's happening? Don't want it. No, what's happening? No. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm on the last two. I'm going to play a game. Well, I get four. That was really good. Unfortunately, one of them was an item. Fate you. Fate you too. What? Choose and play a hero from your discard pile. Bongo, probably. Mmm. Bongo is pretty big. But none of them will uh, grab these. Oh. Sorry, when when you I would have done this when mm -hmm. you moved an item. Mm -hmm. I would put this into play. So okay. that affects what you're doing. It probably will. So I might as well pongo this spot. I mean, why not? The worst would have been if it would have been the last card and then we shuffled everything, then dropped you to the second card. There is nothing in the discard pile at that point. Yeah. That would suck. All right, I'm ending my turn, obviously. Mm hmm. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Hashtag no thanks. <laughs> Can I replace Steph on the next episode? I'll keep you safe from danger. <laughs> you can uh, you can make her silent by spending channel points. <laughs> uh, we at, we used to have things in there that let you pick her color or uh, would let you play her mood for her, but I don't think she got rid of those. Uh. Right. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna vanquish Anita and Roger. You're gonna vanquish Anita and Roger at the same time? At the same time. You vanquished her? What the? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so you can place things um, at the Radcliffe house. I will. Um, what just happened? Um, I'm still going. It's my turn. I vanquished that. That's the only thing I've done. No. Before. I will play. That'll happen eventually. It will, yeah. Pay one. I will activate this card and put him into play. Um, you ruined me with Pongo. Pongo ruins people. Why did the Hispanic man keep purchasing trains? Um, I, I also don't know, but he must have some kind of locomotive. Hmm. I'm going to put him to play over here. Meow. <laughs> She's not even paying attention. <laughs> no. All right, I'm waiting for Derek's face to appear all, all over the screen with your remote wall. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Where is it? <laughs> Are you okay? 
<laughs> I'll pay to play this one. Which How will... many cards you gonna play? Choose a puppy dog from the supply and add to the specified location. Milk farm. Milk farm. There it is. Mm. <laughs> Meeple Grande liked it. Drew, I heard you were telling all sorts of dad jokes. What? Don't do it. <laughs> Look at Derek's face is all over the place. <laughs> Matt put fish everywhere. Where's where the trains? Where are the trains? Where my ding ding ding? <laughs> the train joke. The amount of power that Pete gains from play a game is reduced by one power. All right, you. Me. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's fine. I don't need no power. Oh, that's play a game. This that's is our play first time playing game. this expansion. Yes. Yes. I played it for the first time on the weekend and it got very frustrating. Uh, did you play, have you played the other Disney villainous? I mean, they, the base all, game? they all feel very similar to me. So... I don't know if you've played, like, the base game or the other expansions or anything. I like this game, but uh, it, it can be frustrating, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not happy with it. Uh, clearly, I'm moving this. It's right next door. I got to do it. For one, two, three, I will play the bandit. And then vanquish the bandit. Vanquish the rabbit, rather. Mm. Drawing up. All right, I have to go here. I get a coin. I can fate you. Fate me. Huh. Huh, you're looking for Goofy. I'm looking for anything. Looking for Goofy. You why, need Goofy. Why Goofy? Because it'll move an item anywhere to anywhere. And yeah, I don't have Move that. it over to the frontier town. Because that's... That'll do it then. Yeah, I can't do anything. Because I could play a card, but I don't have... I have two fireplace pokers, which is... Stupid. Because if I play it, then I'm losing the opportunity to do another play, so... Yep. This card knows calling it done. So. You win. I complete this, but this is the thing. Let, let's just see how long it would, how if you can get it in the next turn. Mm -mm. Because this game is possibly an asterisk. If I've ever moved, and moved any of these farther than one space ever. I don't think I can. So. I mean, I've got a horse right now, which... Even if there was something in Frontier Town, I could move it right now. But, um, but I I can't. You know what I'm saying? I I would not be able to. Um, I'd be able to move it right now. So if you had an extra turn, otherwise I can take the win. Me saying I would I would win next turn for sure because I have a horse in my hand. I mean I could I could attend, potentially go here play a card that allows me to move him here, which then I vanquish Pongo and capture that. But then I would have to start my next turn. Start your next turn. Ninety nine. So right. Yeah, I could. And I would have played could, my horse this I turn. I could potentially do that, but <clears throat> so you probably lost by a half turn. Yeah, I just needed to get rid of Pongo, and I had no. Yeah, Pongo easy in way. the countryside messed you up. Yeah. Which, but I think the reason that this stays balanced is because each each hero's fate deck is unique to themselves. So the thing that beats them 
is their own fate deck. It's not what I've got against you. It's what you've got against you. Yeah. Right? The only thing that I'm doing is putting your heroes into play. You know? Yeah. And I think that's what keeps this game... As long as a deck is balanced against itself, then it is fairly balanced against all the other heroes. Fairly much so. Yeah, I mean, if every board has two possible action spots for fade, then that makes it fairly balanced all around. Though, I have seen some with only one. I've seen some with three, but a lot of times they'll put it on the top edge, and the top edge is what gets covered up. Like, I had one. I can't. I think it's the base game. When I played Ursula, I think. Yeah. You covered up my fate all the time. Well, yeah. I, and I, could, I was trying to do that here, too. But I have a fate down here. Well, right. Uh, but right. you think Ursula doesn't? I, I think I, there's one of them that I've played that if you cover up mine, I don't get them out. Mm-hmm. But I've got other things down here, so. And I don't think anybody voted for you for the prediction. Uh, about to find out. So, if Shrey is out there... <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Because that means it's a loss of channel points for uh, Scott and... Six, six, six. <laughs> I think Scott's the only one who played. That's what happens when you do six, six, six. That's right. Um, I have played with four players. I think, oh, I I think have... that might go long. It went really, really long. This is great for two players. I think this is fantastic for two players. Trey said, BGG says these games are best at three players. I could see that. Because... you. But the problem is you kind of have to keep the next person in line in check. So. You do. Or I mean, if, uh, if, same... if one person is close, two people can gang up. And I think that that sort of evens things up a bit. You know what I'm saying? It I keeps things close. I didn't close. like it with more players. Not even with three? I didn't like it with more players. Mm. I think the game is already long enough with two players. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, but you, you have like scroll attention span. Just wait. It, it, well, and Scott sorry. said it was thematic. I agree. And that's why, I, that's why I think that's what keeps this game on the, sh- on the shelf rather than in the sale pile is the thematic. And I'm, I'm caught by thematic games you know I like ursula, that everybody has different goals yeah That's ursula trying to, to collect the 99 puppies trying to move her trying to move something Relatively, the yeah. the the trident yeah. ursula has to find the trident and move it to her lair mm-hmm. which is that's what's difficult that's what i'm thinking the move is covered up by fate all the moves are covered up by fate so if you can fate ursula you can keep that trident back first you got to find it though yeah. That's a catch. Yeah. Um, I agree. I mean, so, I think, uh, I think the game has a lot to offer. I like that they keep bringing out new expansions with the other villains that you already know and like. <laughs> Mother Gothel places Rapunzel's tile ta-da, in Rapunzel's tower. Mother Gothel wants to keep Rapunzel close, so she needs Rapunzel to trust her. If a card instructs you to gain trust, take power from the supply equal to that amount and put it on your board to indicate it's now trust. Trust is no longer considered power. Trust may not be used to pay a card or ability cost. So I guess you keep your tokens here and then the tr- the power tokens on her is trust. Mm. Um, at the end of Mother Gothel's turn, move Rapunzel one location towards Corona. If you can't move her because she's already at Corona, Mother Gothel loses a trust. Mm. So you're trying to control Rapunzel. Well, yeah. So, Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, when Rapunzel is defeated, instead of discarding her, move her to Rapunzel's tower. Oh, she's a hero. She's never discarded. She blocks action. She can be defeated by a vanquish action, which jerks her back to the tower. Mm. That's really thematic. That's really good. So, like, does she have a spot so with nothing her, up there? Um, what What do you mean? The tower. Oh, tower. Oh, most of her spots uh, have, uh, her. a lot of her spots have three on it. Yeah, because she's always going to be covering she's something. She's always going to be covering <laughs> something. Um, wow. If you start your turn with ten trust, she wins. Okay. And I'm sh- they've play tested the heck out of these to make sure that it takes about the same amount of time where you get where you get 
uneven heroes is where one of them's uh, has a winning condition that's like super dog easy. Super dog. Um, but yeah, I like the I like the insert where you put you literally put one deck in each slot, uh, and it's it's real easy. Probably put that in the same direction. Look at that. Uh, the inserts are always really nice, and then all of your little components go on the bottom, which we haven't put in yet. But yeah, he's good. All right. Hopefully so we'll uh, get uh, Gaston. Soon. I won four to seventy seven. Four, yeah, four to seventy seven. <laughs> How do you win four to seventy seven? <laughs> no, you just win. Scar is Meeple Grande's favorite to play. I played Scar. I don't remember. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Were you prepared? Mm. Be prepared. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. I hate these little things on the side. The little. The little uh, semicircles that they use instead of... I mean, I understand they're trying to be environmentally conscious, conscious but... Yeah. <laughs> I just had to say that. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. 